I started Sturdy Cycles in 2014 and I set out to try and build the best bikes that I was capable of, each one uniquely made and optimised for their owner. I build using a mixture of titanium tubing and 3D printing or additive manufacturing. It gives me full control over all of the contact points that the rider has with the bike uh, and all of the critical interfaces and, and vehicle handling. A few years ago I started making uh, components to, to complement the frames that I started with um, and that again was to just improve the design control that I had over how the rider interacts with the bike. Um, that's always been a big part of why I do what I do. So my academic background is in a, a mixture of aerospace engineering and sports biomechanics. And that relationship between the, the bike and, and the rider was what sort of really got me into building frames specifically. And yeah, back in the early days of building frames, it was all, all me just messing around and uh, building bikes for myself and riding them and racing them and trying to find out how I could tune something once someone's happy to, uh, to commission a build, um, we'll obviously have a chat normally over the phone or, or via email and then if at all possible, um, it's nice to get the customers to come and see the workshop. If they don't already have bike fit information, we can, we can do all that here. I've got a fitting jig which allows me to um, measure a customer up and replicate a riding position here so I can check things out and make sure they're going to be happy on their new bike. Oh. It's, it's really nice, if possible, to meet customers face to face. It's Once we've uh, agreed a geometry with the customer, that's when I'll move on to the structural design. And so I will we'll, we'll develop the, the geometry for all of the 3D printed parts uh, and optimise that structure for an individual rider. Uh, and that's done using a, a computer model that I've developed. Once I've created that model, that's the data that will then be printed in titanium. Um, and those are the parts then that will arrive here um, to be fabricated into the frame. Yeah, one of the things I enjoy most about building frames is the range of parts of the process that I can do myself. I really enjoy the fact that I can meet the customer, get the brief from a customer, then I'll design and engineer the bike. Everything's carried out in my workshop here in Froome in the UK. Uh, once the raw material arrives here, all the fabrication, welding, finishing's all done here under this roof. And at the end of the day, I'm the one who then hands it back over to the customer. And it's really nice to have that versatility and that range of skills. And it's, it's really an important part of how I've developed the way that I build bikes. I make all different types of bikes, road, gravel, mountain bike as well, and time trial or, or triathlon too. Most of the frames uh, at the moment, at least, are, are road and gravel frames, but seeing a lot more mountain bikes um, uh, and I'd certainly like to do a few more. I sell either frame kits which are made up of the, the frame and all of the other bits that I make um, to complement the frame, so fork, bars, seat post, cranks, or a fully assembled bike um, can source different components depending on what the brief is um, so that the customer receives a, a fully assembled ready to ride bike. Yeah, I've got a lot of confidence in, in the products that I produce. I've done a lot of development and testing over the years to, um, to get to where I've got to. Um, everything I make comes with a lifetime warranty for the, the original owner. The use of additive manufacturing is what's enabled me to um, expand on just making the frame to making a whole range of components to complement it. Titanium cranks, um, forks and handlebars, other components that, that go together and add to the frame and all of those, all of those things put together. Um, is what gives me the level of control I need. So the end result is, is completely unique.